have so much jewelry. I got more jewelry, and it's not even about the jewelry. Hello everybody and welcome back to After Advent Season. Y'all at this pace I'm thinking there might be more After Advent Season videos than there were like actual Advent Season videos. We still have a ton of Advent calendars back here and I'm still on Google. Just like every couple hours or so like 2023 Advent Calendar on sale. But today we have yet another Advent Calendar here. This one I have like, I have, I don't know. All right, I have almost no information at all whatsoever about this Advent Calendar besides the following. This is from Pure Vida. I literally saw like a snidbit of an ad for this advent calendar on TikTok. And I was like, that's it, advent calendar. And I clicked the button, went to the website, purchased it. A sight unseen. <laughs> like no idea what was going on. So this was a $100, well, kind of $100. This was a $99 jewelry advent calendar. There are 12 days. And from what I've seen, I think it has like a $146 value. And that's about all I know about it. So this is an honest to goodness, true mystery, but I do really like the box. I've had a lot of you guys asking what's in this little box. And today we're gonna find out. On the back, it says lunar tides and good vibes. Vibes. I'm really liking like the moons and the little suns and stars and stuff. Looks almost like tarot-y. Oh, the front little flap here says under a sea of stars and very fun writing. And then we just have all of our little punch doors all 12 days. Now I will say this is probably the most lightweight advent calendar I've ever seen. There's just like the slightest amount of rattling movement in here <laughs> when I shake it. Um, if I didn't know better, I would say this is an empty box. I do really like the outer packaging. I think it's really cute. I also feel like this is something you could like set kind of on a bookshelf. It almost looks kind of like a hardback book. Maybe you could take out the little, oh lordy. Okay, well if yours isn't covered in coffee, then you could display it after, maybe hollow it out and put some stuff in there. All right, let's get into this before I end up destroying it before we can see what's inside. Starting here with day number, Ugh, that's hard cardboard, okay. Day number one. <laughs> cute bracelet. Starting off day number one here with a cute little bracelet. There's some blue and white and silver beads on there. There's a tiny little dangly bit. Oh, and it just says Pure Vita. Ooh, okay. So the little white discs on here might be some type of shell. They're either like a shell or a ceramic. It's kind of reminding me of like puka shells and <laughs> necklaces of back in my day. And then the blue beads are actually, <laughs> they're just little pieces of like maybe silicone. They kind of remind me of like, I I've never personally had braces, but you know, little space that they like cram in between your teeth. That's kind of what they remind me of. And uh, honestly, one of the reasons I never had braces was I didn't think I could handle having a little plastic disc shoved between my teeth. I was like, I know I have like maybe like a turned tooth here or there, but like it's it's not worth it. <laughs> it's not worth it. And then the little silver beads are some type of like metal. It's, this is pretty cute. It's giving me a kind of, well, puka shell vibes. You know, a little like beachy, a little surfer. I gotta tell maybe from some of the stuff on here and like the five seconds I was on their website that they might have a little bit of like a, a surfery feel to them. Yeah, this is just a super easy, kind of cute, casual, little stretchy bracelet to wear. I do feel like uh, these types of bracelets, especially in big stacks with like colorful beads and maybe like words and stuff are really popular right now. I'm sure Taylor Swift has nothing to do with that. Like <laughs> absolutely nothing, right? Uh, but yeah, kind of cute. So I'm anticipating a lot of the jewelry items in here to just have this same kind of vibe. Maybe, you know, colorful beads, maybe some shells, that kind of thing. Alrighty, day number two. Oh, buddy. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that white line uh, very far down on my fingernail there, but I bent it all the way back. Oh, day number two. Yeah, okay. So the next little bracelet in here does have that same kind of beachy summertime feel to it. You know, this little waxy rope here looks a bit like something you'd tie a boat to like a, one of those sticks on the dock, the big sticks, or like throw overboard connected to an anchor, you heave ho strings, you know, rope. It does have a really interesting kind of waxy feel to it. All the little strings and like the main string here that you pull to tighten it all feel like they've been coated in wax. I do kind of wonder if that's like protection from water and moisture because again, back in my day, uh, friendship bracelets were all the rage then, but we were just making them out of embroidery floss. You came around like Walmart bags full of embroidery floss to make these little bracelets. And you tie those suckers to your wrist, to your friend's wrist, and they would stay on there. And let me tell you, there is no wax protecting those little strings. So by the end, you know, of a few months when they finally just wore and fell off, they'd be a little funky, not gonna lie. <laughs> they'd have a bit of a funk to them. Uh, this one is covered in wax, I'm guessing to protect from moisture. It's a bit hard to pull, honestly. 
guess I probably should have put it on my wrist first before I tightened it. Okay, yeah, so like these two together definitely give off a very like kind of beachy, almost boho feel. Um, the colors don't necessarily match, but they go well enough together to where it like kind of almost looks like a little set. Um, this one is just string. It is just made out of string and this is a $100 advent calendar. So I would maybe expect to see some beading or something on this little bracelet. They do have one little bead here at the end with just a P on it and it says Pura Vida on the back. So that's the only bead on there, but it would be nice to maybe see some little like beads spread throughout. It's a little bit expensive to just get a string bracelet, but maybe this is just a bracelet advent calendar and they're gonna make like a whole big stack of bracelets or something since that is a popular look. So I don't know, let's go ahead and continue on and find out. This is very intense cardboard. I'm gonna have to break out my spoon if I can find it. Oh my gosh. Ow, it's on the floor. I saw a couple comments people making fun of my opening spoon, but it honestly works great. Oh, okay. Next up here, we don't have a little bracelet. So I guess they do make other jewelry. Oh, okay. Okay, at first I thought this might be one of those like ear cuff kind of situations where you would have to have like multiple holes to be able to wear it, but they are two separate earrings. Now speaking of multiple ear holes, that's something I currently do not possess. I actually just did an advent calendar unboxing yesterday. It came with a pair of earrings and I thought I only was missing one ear hole, but I tried everything in my power to get it through this one and it would not go through. So I tried it again today and really shoved it through and I do have an ear hole on this side, so that's exciting. These are pretty cute. They're pretty different. I personally don't think I've ever seen a pair of earrings like this uh so they're like a little tiny hoop but with like a dangly bit of like stringed beads these could be sterling it doesn't honestly fully look like it and i don't see any markings that they're sterling so i'm not 100 sure what these are made out of uh, but i can try at least one on for you guys and then i'm just gonna have to get up the courage to go get my other ear poked okay yeah these are actually pretty cute that's interesting i don't think i've ever worn an earring like this before i don't think i've seen one like this before so i like that it's a bit different i like that it's a bit unique i still kind of have the same like feeling as the bracelets over here like with the blue little beads and stuff but i think the silver hoops make them maybe a little bit more dressed up than these bracelets like i potentially could see these earrings being like either dressed up or dressed down um i think they're pretty cute they're pretty different i'm having a hard time telling if the little beads are made out of plastic or glass Ooh, I think they might actually be glass. That's nice. I'm glad that they're not made of plastic. I feel like the glass uh, makes them feel a bit more expensive, again, to come a $100 advent calendar. I just do really wish I knew what, like, the post was made out of and, like, the metal. Surely they have these listed somewhere on the advent calendar page, like, what they're made out of, because people have allergies and stuff, so if these, like, aren't nickel-free, they aren't hypoallergenic, they aren't sterling silver, like, people could be allergic to them, so they probably do need to know that before purchasing. I'll go ahead and actually give the uh, advent calendar page a one over before the end of the video because like I said we are flying blind today folks. Now we're usually flying blind here on this channel and also in my everyday life for almost everything that I do. This time I mean we're really <laughs> no idea. I didn't mean to stab a hole through the door. I was <laughs> just trying to loosen the perforations. All right day number four is up next year. Oh a ring. All right it just happens to fit my finger pretty nicely. I think I'm like a size six maybe or six and a half. You could probably also squeeze it a little bit to make it smaller but I don't think you could stretch it like too 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 far well maybe you can it's actually stretching pretty good um you just get a different look out of it if you do stretch it apart so there it is stretched a little bit further out so it just gives you a bit more of like a, a dispersed look with the gems the metal does honestly seem quite like malleable i probably wouldn't stretch it back and forth too many times it feels it feels pretty bendy <laughs> i feel like it might be something that might snap a little bit easy but it's a very unique ring so we have two little prongs that have an aqua blue kind of like wrapped around them and then a pale little pink and then there's just three i'm not sure if they're cubic zirconia or just pieces of glass. Three little just clear gems there in the center. Oh, okay, upon further investigation, <laughs> these two prongs are not the same color. I thought they were at first. So this one's a bit more like true kind of aqua blue and this one is a bit more of like maybe a green. It does look like the colors are some type of enamel and the rest of it's gold. It's interesting. It might not be something I personally would pick out for myself, but I do think like for what we're seeing here, the theme, I think it's very fitting for the theme. It might not seem like perhaps potentially like the most expensive ring ever. Again, $100 advent calendar, $146 value, but I guess, well, you know, when you do that math, which I can't do without assistance, so just one second. Okay, so you're paying $8.25 a day for the calendar, and then you're getting a little over like $12 a day in value. So, I mean, when I say it, it doesn't appear to be a very expensive ring. It's, I guess it's cause it's not. <laughs> I guess, you know, because you're only paying like eight bucks for it and potentially it has like a $12-ish value, but it's kind of 
cute. It's different. I do like that we're seeing uh, different pieces of jewelry in here because at first I was like, well, maybe maybe they're just bracelets because I did notice on the back of this calendar, um, it says puravitabracelets.com. I was unaware <laughs> that was the name of the website. So I am happy that it's not just bracelets in here. We're getting a bit of variety, uh, but let's go ahead and see what day number five is. And what shall it be? Another string bracelet. Okay. Now this is kind of like what I remember from friendship bracelets. We didn't do this little fancy kind of like slip knot thing in the back though. That was way too elevated for our little middle school brains. And honestly, my 30 year old brain, I'm not quite sure how they do that. But this one looks very similar to like what we would make back in the day, like just little braided bracelets. Or we would do that pattern, like where you make a four and like shove it like that and just keep going. And then it would twist in a spiral. That was fancy. I was quite excited when I learned how to do that. But this one's a very simple braid. It again has the little pea bead on the back here. And uh, yeah, it just pulls closed like that. This one definitely also has that like really waxy feel to it. They're really sticking with the color scheme. I'll give them that. We have more blue and white and instead of like a standard tan, this one's got a little bit of gold shimmer in it for fanciness. I'm losing circulation to my finger a little bit. I'm just gonna stretch this out a tiny touch. All right, moving along here to date number six. Let's see what we can add to our blue jewelry collection. Well, if this isn't just bringing back Myrtle Beach trip memories, I don't know what is. I'm sure a lot of you would probably say like Florida trip memories, but Florida's real far away from Kentucky. That's a long drive. We went to Myrtle Beach. <laughs> Suddenly, I just feel like it's 2003 all over again. Look at this little shell bracelet. Just a cute little string of shells. Just a, just a little collection of shells there. I mean, for me personally, something like this really isn't my style, but I'm sure there's a ton of people who really do like this kind of beachy, very like casual, relaxed, maybe a little bit bohemian look with their jewelry. I've also become through this video very alarmingly aware that I say jewelry weird. Jewelry. Is it jewel jewelry? I feel like I'm Virgin on like DJ Khaled kind of territory of how to say the word jewelry. Jewelry. I have so much jewelry. I got more jewelry and it's not even about the jewelry. And that sounds basically the same to me. That's really hard to tighten. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> it won't tighten. They weld it shut. A little chunk of wax. I don't know what's happening here. I feel like they might have accidentally glued the little nub in the center that's supposed to slide because that's it, this isn't moving at all. So the little ends here that they've tied, they've either like heated them and melted that wax and probably some of the string to like prevent it from untying. And I'm wondering if that happened to the center part because it's not moving whatsoever. Like, I mean, there's, okay, my hands are slippery. Let me go, let me get a good grip here. Ah, there it goes. I do actually think there might've been some glue or something around this little knot uh, because some like chunks of stuff were coming off as I was like toothing at it. But it does actually adjust, which is really, you know, important for bracelets like this because you can't really wear them if they don't adjust. All right, I mean, yeah, like this little stack here, it definitely looks like it all belongs together. Like it all goes together. You got your flat shells. It definitely all appears to go together. Um, I do have so many little strings sticking off my wrist. I personally, I couldn't handle that. We would, we would have to address that for sure. If I did, want to wear all these in a little stack or something, maybe during the summertime if I'm feeling beachy. We are getting kind of like an expensive stack of bracelets here on the arm. Like if you're going off each day being like $8.25, what you pay for it, we're up to like 33 bucks of string and shells on my arm, which I personally think is a little bit expensive. And then if you're going like, and then if you're going like value per day of the advent calendar, we're up to like 48.66, which if you gave me $48.66 and just sent me like loose in the embroidery floss area of a craft store, I could pump out these babies all day long. I could make friendship bracelets all the way up both arms for 48 bucks. So these are cute, especially if it's your kind of style. I'm just wondering like how much money they actually have one of these individual little bracelets and how much they sell them for. Because besides the first one that we got that had like a lot of beads and stuff on it, uh, most of these are mainly comprised of string and then just a couple shells. So I personally would assume that this is an incredibly inexpensive product to make. I just can't imagine that they have a lot of like, you know, money, money in this little stack right here. But it, it's a cute stack. It's a cute stack. Oh, interesting. Okay, day number seven is kind of like a long thin door. Ooh, this could be different. All right, so to me personally, this one departs from like this beachy theme we have going on here. This looks a little bit different. Is this supposed to be a bracelet? Because this is on the only loop that there is to connect it to and- Oh, an ankle bracelet! Ew! Okay, <laughs> I forgot those existed. <laughs> It's a very interesting looking design. Again, I think we have some like enamel coated some type of metal. It's super, super lightweight. Uh, this feels just a little bit more like 
springy to me. It has a lot of like pastel colors. I hate to say that it doesn't feel potentially like the best quality, but it's just so incredibly lightweight. And on this little like gem that's hanging off of it, I can already see some tarnishing and stuff. I mean, I doubt you guys will be able to see that, but there's already some like tarnishing around the edges and it's not been like on skin. It's not gotten wet at all. It's not had sweat on it. So, um, I just, I hate to say it, but I feel like this really wouldn't hold up very well. I'll go ahead and strap it around my ankle and see how I feel. I'll try to keep my tootsies out of the shot for your comfort and mine. No tootsies. It's on there though. Now I'm definitely not an ankle bracelet connoisseur. I don't know if I've ever been cool enough to wear an ankle bracelet, but I feel like the way they're supposed to like sit and hang on the ankle is almost like a little bit below it. A little bit like, like there's like, there's like a swoop involved. Maybe that's not the case. Maybe they are supposed to be a little bit like tighter and higher up the ankle, but like my personal ankle is almost too big for this. If it was is much larger I don't even think it would clip it's just not giving me that cute little like delicate ankle bracelet look um, it almost looks like if my Achilles tendon were to flex it might pop off I do kind of wish they had an adjustable size option for the ankle bracelet as well and not just the bracelet they could have either sent like a stretchy one or maybe had just more loops to where you could adjust the size but that's the only loop on here you can attach it to oh maybe the very 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 end one. Oh, okay I didn't even like really notice that last loop on there kind of where the Pura Vita little tarnishing thing was stuck to put it on that very last loop if you have a larger ankle it does give you a bit more of that swoop look to it it doesn't feel like my achilles tendon could bust through it so that's good i'd love to show you guys what i'm talking about but my feet are too close to my ankles so we're not gonna do that i'm still just not 100 sure like on the quality of this piece it just feels so lightweight because of the design of it like with the little wings that stick up i feel like if it snags on something which it could easily do um it, it might not stand a chance of, of surviving oh okay day number eight is in a bigger door over here i wonder what this could be Is that a sticker? Is this a singular rainbow pineapple sticker in a $100 jewelry advent calendar? You know, I was a little bit on the fence when I realized I was paying $8.50 for a single piece of string, but since one of the days is just a sticker, <laughs> that makes the overall cost that I'm paying for this little piece of string here a bit more, a bit, a bit more. $2.50? Have a little price tag there on it. $2.50 for this sticker? I feel like this is quite a small sticker for $2.50. A dang on sticker and a hundred dollar advent calendar. It's amazing how quickly a sticker can just like change my mindset because like going through this, I'm like, okay, you know, maybe like the quality doesn't feel like the most fantastic for a hundred dollars. We are getting just a lot of string. And I was like, you know what? It's cute. It's fun. It could make for a fun little gift for somebody. But then you hit me with a sticker and now I'm like, mm. it is just one sticker though. Pull it back together. <laughs> we still have four days left in here. So Hopefully the rest of these items are all just jewelry based. Jewelry. All right, day number nine is up next. What is that? Oh, just the itty bittiest little baggie in here. Oh, okay, so we have an itty bitty pair of studs. These are kind of fun. They almost look like little Saturns or something. Oh, which would make sense with the outside of the calendar because it was very like celestial looking, which is interesting that the outside doesn't really match the inside at all until kind of now. That little hunk of blue, whatever it is in the center is actually really pretty. It's kind of iridescent and catches the light nicely. I don't know, again, if it's glass or it's plastic. Oh, okay. I think it, I think it's some type of glass. I don't know. It could actually be a real stone. Even if it is just kind of pretty glass, I think that's better than it being like a hunk of plastic. They're very cute and little. If I have more ear holes, I'll pop in another one up here. But yeah, I mean, they're, 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 they're pretty cute. All right. Day number 10 is up next. And we have just another little bitty ring. It is cute. It's cute and little. It's very little actually, to be fully honest. That's a pretty small ring. This isn't for your toe, is it? I'm not putting this on my toe. I'll just stretch it out because it is open in the back. It's a cute little ring. It is a cute little ring. Like I said, it is open in the back, so it is adjustable. Is it giving a little bit of like gumball machine? Kinda. Just a little bit. I almost wanted to say that about the ankle bracelet as well, but I was like, eh, I don't know. It might be a little bit better than gumball quality, but this... This does read a, a tiny bit like either gumball machine or like souvenir shop at the beach. Something about it isn't reading super, super high quality. It's tiny. <laughs> it's this a toe ring. It does fit on my toe. It does. I'm still not showing you guys my tootsies. That went on there like Cinderella slipper. That fits real good on my toe. Now, I definitely have never been cool enough to wear a toe ring. So I'm going to see if I can shove this on my pinky. Okay, it fits my pinky. Pinky ring, yeah, it's still probably not cool enough to wear, but here it is. All right, so this does fit on my pinky. Uh, you can adjust it a little bit, but honestly, if you stretch it too much, it probably won't make like a full ring anymore because the back is already like so wide apart. So if you were to make it a bit bigger to accommodate larger ring 
sizes. Um, I don't know how much larger you could go with it still holding like the shape of a ring. Now this advent calendar was not marketed towards like little girls or anything. This is not a little girl advent calendar. I mean, especially for a hundred bucks. Teenagers, young girls, sure. But like, you know, I'm not looking at like child rings right now. <laughs> or you could wear it like, you know, one of those like mid kind of rings like this. That might be kind of fun and a little bit different if you didn't want to wear it like on a pinky or it wasn't like large enough to uh, fit some of your other fingers. Like a little halfway ring, that could be fun. All right, moving on here to day number 11. Is that the same exact bracelet? Oh, <laughs> I'm about to start fighting because I thought there was a repeat. But no, they gave us a necklace version of the ankle bracelet. I, I just, I wasn't loving the quality and the look and the feel of the ankle bracelet, but now there's, there's, there's one for your neck. I'm gonna see if I can make it smaller and go kind of like chokery with it. Okay, that's that's probably too chokery. That's like a legit choking. A little bit bigger. <laughs> Breathing is also important in fashion. Get off me. Okay, so there it is. It's kind of like a, a short little bit of a chokery necklace. It gets kind of stuck to your skin a little bit. I do have lotion on my neck, so maybe that's why. But for me and my personal like neck girth, um, it sets a little weird on the second loop and then it sets a little um dangerous and deadly on the first loop. On the very, very last one, it kind of hangs out here where the rest of my necklaces are, which is probably where I would prefer to wear it if I were to wear this necklace um but I just have other necklaces on right now so you couldn't really see it I mean like it's fine it's kind of cute I could definitely see how somebody could wear this and pull it off and make it look really adorable um I just don't love the quality and the feel of it just like the ankle bracelet it feels very lightweight it just doesn't really seem like something that would hold up for very long unfortunately I mean it's it's a cute little necklace it's it, it's fine and of course I'm not expecting like fine jewels and precious metals and a $100 jewelry advent calendar but I am just a little bit concerned about the quality of this piece and then also like most of the jewelry is made up of strings so like that $100 price tag for something that feels to me at least fairly low quality and is mainly comprised of string is potentially a little bit much but let's go ahead and see what's on the final day here it could be fantastic moving on here to day number 12 the very last day of our very first jewelry advent calendar i've never done just a jewelry one before all right let's see what we got Oh, Piravina, you got me for just a second there. That was sneaky of you. That was sneaky. Uh, Cause I was fairly certain when I opened up day number 12 here, the only thing I was seeing was a sticker that was just an advertisement for the brand. <laughs> but I do happen to see a little piece of string poking out from the back of here. So it does look like we might have another bracelet. Oh, and we do just more string. Good. All right. So the first item in here, we, we have a sticker. There is another $2.50 sticker. For some reason, this one is the same price as the pineapple. It's like double the amount of vinyl, but okay. And then for the very, very last item inside this advent calendar, we have another little string bracelet. Just another nice little grouping of waxy strings in different colors. All right, and with that assortment of strings, we finish our little bracelet stacked here. I'm just decked out like to the nines and jewelry. Jewelry. Does this little stack of bracelets here make me feel like I'm back at a summer camp I never attended? It does, it does. It really does evoke those feelings of like summertime. It's very playful beachy, kind of fun. I'm guessing this is like the Pure Vita bread and butter of their bracelets here. Just the little like string friendship bracelets. I am very curious now that we're through the entire advent calendar, how much they sell these for? All right, so it looks like they have like pre-made little sets of things. $45. I should have stuck with friendship bracelet making. I could have been rich. Some of these little bracelet sets of theirs that are mainly comprised of just string are like $45. I feel like that's very expensive. Okay, so the little ones that are just like different colored strings all together are $7 or any three for 18. So give me just like one second here. I'm gonna do a little bit of math and calculate everything up because I did say it was definitely like a 45% savings or something. So it's like a 140 something dollar value calendar. All right, you guys. So I, I did the math for everything based on the numbers on their website and and yeah, I mean, honestly, it came up to $167 in value, which is over what I initially thought it was, but that's, I mean, I could have also just gotten those numbers flipped. <laughs> the value that they, they say is there, according to their website, is there. I just think I'm mainly curious if, like, the quality value was there. I did try to find out, like, what some of the things are made of. So, like, the little earrings and stuff, both pairs, the tiny Saturns and these, are $20. So, the little Saturns are actually opal. The little stone there is opal, and they are rose gold plated, even though they're very, very silver looking. I don't know if rose gold can come in silver. Maybe it can. These are just glass beads with rhodium plating, and then, like, the rings and stuff. Honestly, this ring was on the website. I just did the best approximation that I could. The little rings and stuff are what I could find. Like, this is just brass covered in rhodium, and yes, it is a toe ring. It is actually a toe ring. <laughs> this little necklace here, they said it was 30 bucks. This is, <laughs> I feel like that's very expensive for a super lightweight necklace with just some little like enamel colors on it. I don't know. I'm just, I'm curious about what you guys think about this one because technically 
the value is there, but I just don't know if I believe these items are like potentially overpriced to begin with. Let me know what you guys think. I'll give you guys an overview of everything that came inside this calendar to help you make your decision. All right, you guys, so here we have our little collection of items. Here's my hand for size reference. We have a lot of like string bracelets, a couple of stickers, two pairs of earrings, two rings, a necklace, and then like an ankle bracelet. This costs $100 to purchase, and apparently there is at least a $140 something dollar value. I'm fairly certain I saw it said like $147. I was guesstimating on some of these items like the ankle bracelet was not available on the website this ring was also not available on the website so maybe i was overvaluing these items and that's why we saw a bit of a discrepancy between what i thought the values were but i don't know you guys just like looking at this assortment this arrangement here you could say like perhaps maybe this is for a younger audience and that's totally fine this could be for a younger girl a teenager you know somebody in their early 20s but if that is the case i still feel like a hundred dollars might be a bit much for this stuff since most of it is very like string based we're not seeing a lot of you know like these aren't sterling or anything they're just like rhodium plated these are rose gold plated so that's nice but the rest of these items here the metal items just feel fairly low quality unfortunately like this little pendant was already tarnishing but i just don't know let me know so i just i'm not sure let me know what you guys think have you tried pure vita before do you enjoy the jewelry do you think it's worth it do you not i just i would love to know all of your thoughts and opinions uh but yeah that is everything i have for you guys today this is the very first jewelry advent calendar we've ever done on the channel and i guess that's all i have for you guys today so thank you so very much for watching please go ahead and consider subscribing if you would not mind and in the absolute world to me and Rain and Taylor. And I just hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day and I'll see you all next time. Bye!